Could this be the spaceship of the future? A group of British rocket engineers hope that one day their Skylon space plane will regularly ferry 12 tons of payload into orbit. Unlike the U.S. Space Shuttle, Skylon would not have to carry large amounts of liquid oxygen to burn its fuel. As long as it's inside the Earth's atmosphere, it could get its oxygen here. But whether Skylon will ever be built is still unclear. A system being developed by scientists at the University of Stuttgart is much further down the development path with lightweight electrical drives that could soon help propel space probes to Mars. Here, the researchers are testing their thrusters in gigantic steel tanks under the near vacuum conditions of space. The question we're asking ourselves is how we can use modern propulsion systems to travel long distances in space, like from the Earth to the Moon, or Earth to Mars, or even farther, and how we can use these modern systems to save fuel mass. Because that's what makes many of these missions possible in the first place. Electrical drives can provide propulsion systems for long voyages using little fuel. The basic principle behind it is that we're heating a gas using electrical energy and accelerating it using various technologies. In space, electrical drives would provide less thrust than conventional engines, but they would also be more efficient. The standard propulsion system, on the left, provides all its thrust as it ignites in the space of just a few minutes. The electrical drive on the right can continue to provide thrust for months or even years. That makes it ideal for the long flight to Mars. The first unmanned probe with an electrical drive system is scheduled for takeoff in 2030. Flights further out into the universe would require engines with even more thrust, provided, for example, by a nuclear fusion thruster, like the one designed by British researchers. It could theoretically take an unmanned probe to a neighboring star. However, a nuclear fusion thruster would be less suitable for manned spacecraft. The main problem with this thruster concept is that both the payload and the astronauts have to be protected from the radiation generated by the drive. Nuclear fusion spaceships would run on hydrogen. There's plenty of that in space. The Bussard ramjet takes advantage of it. The special feature of the Bussard ramjet is that it has a magnetic device that obtains the fuel for it from its surroundings during the flight. Aus der Umgebung beschafft. Reducing fuel load is the decisive issue for the spacecraft of the future. Today's rocket propulsion technology wastes huge amounts of energy, which is why designers are working on replacing current drives with more economical, intelligent ones.